Now then, Matt Root, the father of Yorkshire batsman Joe Root, says it is a dream come true that his son has been appointed England's new Test cricket captain. And the former England captain Michael Vaughan, who also played at the same Sheffield club where Root learnt the game, has given Root his support too. With more, here's Mark Ansell. This is where it all began for Matt Root. His sons followed in his footsteps and learnt the craft of cricket here at Sheffield Collegiate. His elder son Joe is immortalised in the clubhouse. This week he's been named England's test captain. Remarkably, Sheffield Collegiate has produced two England captains, Joe and a decade earlier, Michael Vaughan, who proved an inspiration. We were fortunate enough to have Michael Vaughan play here and uh, you know Joe saw what he achieved in the game so I think he really just uh, he took a lot of um, uh, a lot of inspiration from that and um, you know, he always showed a bit of an aptitude for the game and uh, yeah he's, he's worked really hard you know these things don't just happen he's, he's put a lot of hours in um, even as a as a young boy you know we'd be we'd be practicing down here in the nets on a on a Tuesday Thursday night and um, after we'd finish you know he'd still be batting while ever somebody would bowl at him. So hard work has been key to his success but the advice from the man who saw Joe as his protege is to enjoy it. You know, I always say to any captain, look, don't take it too seriously because, you know, yes, it's about winning, but it's just trying to play the right way. And I think what Joe will bring is a style of play that will be quite aggressive. I think he'll be uh, quite expansive. He'll expect his team to be attacking. But, you know, he's got to win games. You know, he's got to score runs and he'll know that the pressure will be on. But over the last three or four years, he's dealt with the pressure of playing for England better than anybody. Joe Roots now has time to prepare for his first big test against South Africa at Lords in July. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North, Sheffield.